Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about how you can make $1,000 a month selling your art. My name is Mark McKenna, and for the last several years, I have been making six figures selling my art. So if I had to start over from the very beginning and I wanted to sell $1,000 worth of art per month, these are the three things I would do. First and foremost, social media. I would get on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever platforms there are available to me, and I would create specific art pages that would highlight my work alone. I would post progress shots. I would do little videos about my process or about what I'm doing, my workspace. I'm gonna obviously post pictures about my finished product and what they look like. And, and the last thing you wanna make sure is that people are aware that it's available. You have to write that in the, in the description or the comments. This is available for, for sale. On each of those different social media platforms, I would be posting once a day or at least five times a week. And I would also be utilizing my personal social media to promote those pages. I would invite my friends and my connections that I already have to follow that. Step number two, you need to find and get in contact with businesses like galleries that sell art. You need to spend time every day researching galleries that would be a good fit for you and your work. And you need to be going to their websites and finding their application processes and going through the specific criteria that they ask when people are applying. If you can't find that process online, make a really pleasant phone call to the gallery or the business and figure out the best way to do that for them. If I was starting from zero, I would at least spend an hour a day making those connections and contacts. Step number three, collaborate with local businesses or art groups that you can get your work on their walls, whether it's originals or prints. If you wanna consider printing and you don't know where to start, I would recommend doing a print on demand service online like Printful or fineartamerica.com and you can have pretty much any size of a print uh, made and shipped to you really easily. An example of something that worked for me was I have been printing with a local print shop in my area. And one day I came in to get some of my prints and they let me know that there were some people who had seen my prints that were waiting for me and they wanted to buy some. And so I actually made a connection with some people who wanted my prints because they, they saw them in person. And so what eventually happened is we ended up putting a display on their wall in their store showing what they could do with printing, but it also was displaying my work and they were able to sell prints and I was able to sell prints and we both won. So the, the concept here is that there's a lot of businesses in your area that like to have art and beautiful things on their walls for their customers to see. And so if you can collaborate with them, you can both win. They get beautiful art on their walls and you can make a commission off of a sale. So guys, the biggest concept here to think about and consider is that you need to get your art in front of as many people as possible. The more people that can see your work and that know it's available, the more likely you are to sell it. For the last part of this video, I'm gonna give you a bonus. There are three barriers to selling art that you should consider. First is your price point. Is your work affordable to your audience? Number two, consider the size of your art. Not everybody has room for a four foot by four foot painting on their wall. So consider painting smaller sizes that can fit in a lot more places. Third, consider your subject matter. If your work is a little edgy or risque, you're gonna be limiting your audience and your, your universal appeal. So consider a subject that might be a little bit softer, a little less edgy, so it has more of a wider appeal to, to a larger audience. Hey guys, if this has been beneficial to you in any way, please consider subscribing. It would be so helpful to me. We'll see you in the next one.